In previous episodes, I talked about the advantages of using a virtual manager and suggested that Oracle VM VirtualBox is a good one and it's free. So in the next episode, I demonstrated how to install it. And now I'm going to demonstrate how to actually uh, set up the preferences. I think I've deleted some of the virtual machines. That may be it. Uh, or my machine just anyway crashed and I had to reboot it. Okay, virtual manager, etc. They should all be there. Um, so things should be good. I want to demonstrate the preferences. Okay. One of the first preferences is the default machine folder. On my machine, I have a two terabyte um, disk drive, so I've got a huge amount of disk space left on my main disk. On another machine, I have only a one terabyte C drive, and I have a two gig external USB drive so over there I have actually put my machine folder on one of the auxiliary USB drives so that's the first thing that you do when you do the settings and um, host key is an important thing the default is write control the host key allows you to the mouse sometimes gets stuck inside so it can actually take you from the guest operating system to the host operating system once again the host is in this case like Windows 7 the guest is the operating system you're running within the virtual box manager. Update once a day as far as I'm concerned is good enough. Languages, English is my language. This tells us where the adapter is. Extensions, um, depending on your firewall settings you may need to have uh, enable proxy that's it for this video. Thank you.